Hello everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to do a little thrift haul uh, overview. I had gone out to the local uh, thrift shop in town and every now and then I'll go in and check them out. And every now and then I'll score some goodies. So this baggie here that I got um, was $5.99 and it had the fabric in it, which is so much fun. So much fun. It was um, got all this writing on it. So there's this version. Um, there's this version. And it's all been cut down. So I guess somebody was quilting with it. And then this version here. And a tiny little bit of this one here. And uh, it was so perfect because I love um, writing like I love the handwriting the printing and things like that so it's going to work great for all kinds of projects um, and then I got this pack here I have opened the stuff because I've been using them uh, I got this pack here for a dollar and inside the baggie with the fabric was these here so the, the theme of the bag didn't make any sense to me because there was fabric and then there was paper goods. Usually I find um, their bags kind of sorted by category, but this was just made for me because it had everything I wanted in it. Uh, so these are food rotation labels. Uh, they're pretty old because they're discolored and they're not sticky anymore. But I thought, you know, these could be fun because they're semi-transparent so I can cut these up and use them. So there's those, you never know what you're gonna find. And then also in there was this roll of old coupons. Um, I guess they're like an admit one type raffle because on the back you can put the name and address. So I got that in the bag as well. And then as I was cashing out next to me on the table was this really pretty little book. Um, it had a $5 sign in it, but I, I paid a dollar for it. So I guess that's somebody else's maybe garage sale price or something. But uh, I paid a dollar for this and I thought these were really pretty little reference photos for sketching. So what I did was I played with these little things um, and I made these little kind of label tags. And uh, I what else did I use? I have recently purchased um, some digital kits and I can't remember who I got them from. I uh, think these are Tracy Fox off Etsy. Um, I love them. I cut, I glued, I can only print on really thin paper at my printing store. So what I had to do was I had to glue them onto a substantially thicker paper to, and then I fussy cut them all out. Like I spent an afternoon cutting pages and pages of these tags out because I don't have anything like this in my repertoire. And I think that these are really handy to embellish something very quickly. So I, I got those as well. And then uh, as I've shown in previous videos, my quickie sketches here on some uh, business cards, which I also get from the thrift shop for a couple of dollars. I get... Um, if you've seen it, I uh, don't think I have it handy on my desk, but uh, just a folio of all kinds of different business cards, I think for $1.99 or $2.99, depending on the location. So your thrift shop is such a fun place to go. When you don't, when you don't know what you want or what you need, or you maybe don't need anything at all, but you're walking through the thrift shop and you find these just random things sitting there and your inspiration gets gets going and uh, your imagination follows it and, and the next thing you know you're putting random things together you never thought you'd put together. So let's make something. I'm gonna basically recreate a couple more of these. So I'm just gonna take some of these pages. We could make a envelope if we want. We can make a folio. We'll see where it takes us. And uh, I'm not gonna sketch today, I'm just gonna use some of these. Uh, if you go into my playlist, you'll see I have a whole section of quickie sketches and uh, it shows you how to sketch a bunch of different things. Please drop a comment below if there's anything you would like to see me sketch and uh, show you how to sketch. I have to do a frog next. There's uh, been a few requests for a frog and I've been procrastinating on drawing frogs 
uh, only because they're a little bit tricky to explain how because they're it's like a, you gotta kind of feel your way through it but I'll get there I'll do it I promise <laughs> I just haven't I haven't done one yet so we'll get to that so just drop your comment in the comment section about what it is you might like to see drawn or something you'd like to learn how to draw and I'll, I'll do my best so I'm just cutting these scraps of fabric um, I really love this one I think I'm gonna have to sew something here too like maybe a journal cover with all these I mean, there's tons of them and I just love them so I go a little bit taller on this one uh, if you follow me on my channel you know I don't measure much or do anything straight. Uh, it's just how I roll. <laughs> so there's this one, and I think I'll cut this one down just a little bit more narrow because I love borders. Borders are my thing. So I don't really have a, a game plan. I'm just throwing stuff down here and uh, kind of gluing it down. That's what I did. I just took the, all those elements to make these and then glued them and sewed them and, and kind of see where it takes me and that's what I love about this so I paid six dollars for all these things combined and uh, I have enough here to make thousands of journals so you can always share with other people what you what you find and uh, really play with with uh, your materials and, and kind of combine them into new elements so whatever you're used to making, you can now add some new pieces to it. So I'm just going to ink this sketch. And this is just done with a little ballpoint pen. And this is my um, Slate Close to My Heart brand. Again, another thrift find. So I'm just kind of having fun laying this out right now. I think I will ink around this guy. So this is more like a craft along with me kind of day. Grab your stuff and let's uh, let's do some cutting and gluing here. Uh, so I like that, and I really have been enjoying these coupons with the pop of red against the black and neutral colors. I think has has been really fun. And what I like to do too is I'll, I'll cut out certain elements of the coupon. I won't just use the whole sticker, right? I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I could use the band here. Tuck that in if I want. If you're hearing some noise behind me, it's the puppy being uh, a puppy. <laughs> ah, coffee. And uh, she's wide awake right now and uh, under my feet. So Millie is in full force this morning. She got a good sleep last night, so she is uh, ready to play. So you do something like this, which I think I will. So let's, let's do that. So I'm gonna start by gluing my um, fabric down. And I'm gonna use this three-in-one glue uh, it's great glue for all kinds of media, including fabric and paper. However, uh, you don't want to use too much of this because it is a pretty wet glue. Depending on your fabric, it can bleed through a bit. I'm just putting enough down to basically tack it into place. Uh, I may or may not sew these pieces. Uh, this one is sewn. This one is not. So it depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I love sewing and other days not so much. So I think I'll do it this way. And I'm always looking uh, to create balance in my uh, pages that I make. And by balance, I mean creating an evenness of interest throughout the composition. So if I'm putting red here, then I'm going to want to introduce red in another spot as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Just take that off. So, I mean, I've got 9 million coupons to use. So <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be seeing these a lot in the next couple of videos. So now I'm going to 
glue this guy down. And I pretty much want this sketch to be the focal point of the little booklet we're making here or journal card or insert, whatever you want to call them. I want it to be the focal point. And then all the other things, the, all these other textures and elements are, are just interest around it. Let's kind of offset it and make it pop a little more. Hold that down for a second, that glue. And then this is the other side of that coupon, and I like the brown, so I'm going to use that. My glue's getting pretty goopy again. Throw that down. And again, I pay attention to kind of distance between things, um, and I kind of lay it out so that I cover up edges of things. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you kind of play with that a little bit have fun with uh, how they sit on top of each other in relation to each other. So I wanna take the red, uh, maybe I'll leave the red on this side. So instead of sticking this right in the middle, right, which you could, I like to off center it and create another layer up. And you can do fun things like uh, put say um, these foamy things and have it raised up even more, which also adds interest. But I'm just going to leave them flat for today. Uh, and that's how you can build some really interesting layered journal cards just by offsetting the, the symmetry of it all. So again, it's not lined up with this one. It's not lined up with this one. It's not perfectly in the center of anything. It's layered and kind of visually joins all these elements together, right? So your eye can kind of start here, move down into the drawing, into this, and then back out to the background paper. So it's really just playing with uh, compositions, playing with the elements that you like. So instead of looking at these as like, oh, they're a coupon, it doesn't really, a, a coupon doesn't really apply to, you know, my journal. I'm not, I'm not doing a, say, a baking journal or something. It, it's not, um, it's it's the textures and the interest that these offer uh, is the way I look at them. So yeah, I don't have anything that admits one in my botanical journal. It doesn't really apply, but it's the texture and the font and all those things that add interest. So I look at the, look at them more as a textural element than I do like logistically what they mean. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes it's hard to talk and and create at the same time. So then I just cut the edge off of that red because I wanna introduce the red, say, over here somewhere. So I have it down here and I have a little bit here, which is actually kind of enough. I don't think I need any more red, but I do like to play a little. So maybe I'll add a strand here. So I'm just gonna put a tiny, my glue's getting, like I said, pretty goopy. It's uh acetone based glue so it evaporates quite quickly. And I'm just going to throw this guy here. Maybe not cover up the J. Just wipe that extra glue off. Take, cut that off. And I like doing uh, things that embellish your drawings, you know, your, your sketches and your doodles. I think it's really fun. And then maybe something across here. Maybe I'll leave it. And then let's see if I want to pull one of these out. So I've got some with red around them. So that's kind of fun. So it might be overkill on the red. Maybe we want to go into something with black or dark brown. And that's, I love these little tags. They're so pretty. I'm pretty sure they're a Tracy Fox um, from her Etsy shop. If, if I got it right, whatever it is, I'll try and remember to link it below. They're uh, they're really pretty. They're time consuming to cut out, but they were still so much fun. To, they're, like I just love using them. So we could even go this way. So the writing is up and down and the background really doesn't bother me because I, it's not something that is prominent in the design where it, I, it's something that I'm recording, like an actual date or 
a name or anything. This is just strictly texture. Uh, I think I'll slide it up and show a little bit of that element there. And again, I'll, I'll decide it on this one. I'm going to leave the side exposed on this piece. So kind of framing more and more. So that's pretty much it for this. I would maybe sew it. I could throw some stitches, uh, sti decorative stitches around here. If you don't have a sewing machine, of course, you can draw, draw stitches in. You could use a red thread. I mean, you can do anything you want. So much fun. So I think we'll do one more and then see if I have anything interesting to glue these together with, like a band here. Maybe I'll use a piece of the fabric. Okay, so let's do the inside of this one. I'll put this here for now. I'm going to ink the edge. I love these little cards. That are, they're the kind of size too that I like to work with. It's not a huge 12 by 12 sheet. It's just a little piece that I can play with and decorate and add to most size journals. Uh, when I'm thrifting, I'm always looking for things like that. Oh, or coffee. I'm always looking for things that are a, a good size to work with. What are some other things I've gotten? So I've gotten tarot cards, I've gotten giant playing cards, and I just love working with um, exact sizes that are small enough that you can just decorate and embellish without cutting up a 12 by 12 sheet of really pretty paper. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just, I like to... Uh, I like to challenge myself as well by working in a, a specific size composition, which I've spoken about before. I thought I cut some already. Yeah, I did. Which I've spoken about before when it comes to these sketches. Uh, I just like to challenge myself. And I think I'm going to do a video on different size papers and then explaining compositions within that size. So if the paper was this big, for example, I challenge myself to do a design inside something that size. And that way you never run out of scraps. <laughs> You're always going to get to use your scraps, no problem, because uh, they're potential little sketches, potential little artwork. And I really love the challenge of that. So I'm rambling on about um, these papers and things being a specific size, but it's one of the things I really like when I'm going to the thrift shop, find these little tiny pieces. All right, so I just throw that on, glue all over my fingers and my puppy has disappeared. Millie! So which one do I want to use? I kind of like this one, it's like a long wart sketch. So I think I got it out of this. Did I get it out of this one? A sketching, I'm pretty sure I did. So pretty, right? And just such a great sketching reference. But that's where these little, yeah, there it is. That's so I took a, um, I just roughly sketched this and I put my own little spin on it, but that's where this drawing came from. And this one came from the Marigolds. So those are handy little, always look in the, the, uh, draw um, the book section in the thrift shop too because you never know what's going to inspire you and of course you can cut this up photocopy it um tear it up use it in your journals well it's in there anyways the marigold and uh which one do i want to use i think i'm going to go with that one so let's use our coupons here i think this time we'll use the brown side so we could do something very similar but this time in the brown and maybe something along the bottom oh, she's chewing on her bone that's good anything to keep her busy she's such a sweetie I'm uh, so glad I got her I was I was a nervous wreck when I first got her I thought oh my gosh what have I done <laughs> I think we all feel that way when we get a puppy <laughs> I have never had a dog this young either, so it's it's been a fun challenge. Uh, you know, you're learning as you, as you go, but you're creating such a nice bond because they're so young, and they uh, they just follow you around. She's great company, so uh, 
She's uh, been a great addition so far. She's got a lot of training to do. We've got a lot of work to do, that's for sure. <laughs> so, let me do something like this, maybe. Again, constantly focus on this being the focal point, or maybe we'll flip it. And introduce the red on this bottom piece. That's kind of fun. Let's do that. You really can't do it wrong. You know, it, it, it's going to be a taste thing. Maybe you're, you don't love everything symmetrical. Maybe you're one of those people who like things on an angle and kind of uh, off center and things like that it, all over the place. It's just really what appeals to you and you'll know when it's harmonious because it will it will be pleasant to look at it won't be awkward to look at there won't be something about it that bothers you if there is then it's usually because there's something that is not um laid out properly or uneven unbalanced so you do something like this with the full tags i like that i'm gonna ink this guy I just have fun. I can sit here for hours and just let myself create these fun layouts um, and just build up a nice collection of these little ready to use inserts in journals. There we go. I'm just gonna hold that for a second because it's pretty thick paper. this guy on so what are you guys been creating lately what's been inspired you what's been inspired you what has inspired you have you found some fun treasures on marketplace or traded with a friend or something and and, and now you're inspired to do something completely different than before because you've got some fun new materials to work with um let me know. Uh, speak to me in the comments there and let me hear what it is that you guys have been doing. Or maybe you found new digitals that you're completely in love with. What I find fun about digitals is they do inspire kind of a theme to a journal as well. Where, you know, you, you do botanical. I always do botanicals. I just love botanicals. And every now and then I'll see a digital that I absolutely love. Um, and it's like a grungy version. So it's still botanical, but it's taking me in a new direction. Of instead of nice and neat, it's now gone really grungy and lots of layers of paint and stuff. So you can find inspiration anywhere. And it takes you in a new direction. So definitely look at the thrift shop. It's always fun to look at the thrift shop. I think that's good. We could add a little bit of red up here. See how we feel about that. So you can use these in a few different ways. So we could throw it in here. Throw it in here. Throw it right in the middle. That's kind of fun too. I think I'll do that. My glue. All right, there we go. It's a bit much for that tiny piece, but my fingers are covered in it anyways. <laughs> there we go. Throw that in there. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a couple of stitches on these, I think. Do I wanna do that now, or do I wanna put them together? Let me do, throw a few stitches in this guy. This one I'll leave. This one I'm gonna stitch, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn it together. I just ran a stitch down here and a zigzag stitch here. To cover this, I think I'm just going to use um, a strip of this. I'm going to leave the sewing exposed. And then maybe some journaling space here, some sketching space. Um, it's nice to reintroduce these elements throughout your journals too. So when you start creating... Uh, a journal you reuse 
the same materials throughout it. Not on every single page necessarily, but um, you know, a couple of pages in, I might add these bright red coupon stickers or um, the fabric or this color paper over and over again. So again, it makes it all cohesive. So there we go. And I'm gonna ink this side of the paper. bit more ink on here. I think that shows a little ink on this side. And we've made this cute little booklet out of our thrift finds. And I think it's so much fun. There's so much layers and interest to it. There's just enough um, interest with the reds, the blacks, and the neutrals. There's lots of texture going on by using the fonts in, in our different mediums, different fabrics that have different writing, different font in this. These have different fonts, the numbers, just so much fun. I love it. And of course, the, the piece de resistance, the sketching. Just love using up little sketches and just making them pop. So I hope that gives you some inspiration to hit your local thrift shop and to be inspired by things that are just kind of kicking around um, that maybe you wouldn't have thought of using, you know, maybe coupons, red admit one coupons aren't something you would think to invest in. Uh, probably paid maybe what a dollar fifty for these, that whole bag of fabric plus this. Oh, we never used the, the blue thing, I forgot about these. Um, we uh, we got a lot of different stuff for like six dollars, it's great, maybe seven dollars because I bought the book too. I forgot about these. Maybe we want to add something like this in. An afterthought. Let's do it. So, just so much stuff. Oh my gosh, this glue is a mess. And, you know, keeping it out of landfill. Hopefully you buy it in a thrifty shop that recycles money back into the community. You know, so the money they make goes into you know, helping people with their homes or um, uh, with families or somebody who had a fire in their home or something, you know, just a nice added little bonus when you're thrifting, thinking, hey, I'm getting a great deal, plus I'm helping someone. Fabulous. Fabulous. So... I'm just gonna add this because I forgot to include this and I really like these papers. They're definitely old because there's no stick left to them. So, a food storage label dates. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. There we go, included those. And I've got this little piece left, let's uh, find somewhere to put it. Also, this little piece of fabric you could throw in there too. So, unfortunately, you're going to have more scraps. <laughs> but it's just another excuse to get busy doing this, playing with papers. So we don't mind scraps. Put that one there. So I hope that gave you some inspiration. I hope uh, uh, that you... Um, let me know in the comments below uh, what you use and what you thrift or if you thrift at all or maybe you're going to start. Let me know. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so I added um, stitching to this one. Uh, you can see the thread was brown. Red thread would have been really fun on this, but I was too lazy to change it on my machine. I also left all the stringies. I'll decide whether or not I want to include them depending on the journal that I've made. Maybe maybe I have maybe a more clean line kind of uh, journal and I don't want to use the strings. Or maybe I will um, keep them into a, a rough for a rough journal. It depends, right, What's, uh, what I'm going to add it to. So I'll leave them for now. I feel like that brown one. What else did I get here? Where's that other one I had? Hmm. I think I'll use the gray. There's so much of it that it's all over my desk. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can't wait to use it for other things too. So I think I'm going to cut a piece here. Let's go a little bigger because 
as you can see, I can't sew straight. That's why I do it off camera, because I'm a terrible sewer. I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna glue it to the just the end here. So just a little bit over top, here's my glue look. <laughs> what a gooey mess. So uh, I guess I'm gonna put this piece in the front. Didn't even look to see which one I like better, but I do like this one. So I will use it. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of this glue here. Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. The uh, puppy's telling me she needs to go out. Okay, so just gonna let that sit for a second. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and glue it to this guy here. So I'm gonna do a little booklet. So depending on you, you maybe you wanna sew some signatures in here, you can uh, make it as wide as you need to. I don't think I'm gonna need to sew anything else in here. I think I'm just gonna make it a little booklet and maybe put a pocket across here or something. So I'm going to just glue this edge down. I'm not gonna cover the whole back. Now, of course you could with the fabric. But I'm just gonna throw in a little wee bit of glue here and just keep a tiny, tiny gap between the two. Because again, I'm not sewing anything else in here. I'll just hold that down for a second. Make sure there's no glue that they stick together. Is that something I do all the time? So push that down. Just kind of rub off any extra glue. There we go. They're straight. Straight enough. Okay, so I'm going to cut the extra off here. Again, I'm not concerned if it's straight. Kind of like it rough edges the whole bit. I'm gonna sew that down as well. And then of course you can decorate the back. Cut this one. Okay. So when I sew through here, it's gonna come through here and I'm okay with that. That's something you want to pay attention to when you are um, building these things and you do want to use sewing. So I'm just going to run this through the machine really quick. Okay, so I added um, stitching to this one. Uh, you can see the thread was brown. Red thread would have been really fun on this, but I was too lazy to change it on my machine. I also left all the stringies. I'll decide whether or not I want to include them depending on the journal that I've made. Maybe, maybe I have maybe a more clean line kind of uh, journal and I don't want to use the strings or maybe I will um, keep them into a, a rough for a rough journal. It depends, right? What's uh, what I'm going to add it to. So I'll leave them for now. I like that brown one. What else did I get here? Where's that other one I had? Hmm. I think I'll use the gray. There's so much of it that it's all over my desk. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can't wait to use it for other things too. So I think I'm going to cut a piece here. Let's go a little bigger because as you can see, I can't sew straight. That's why I do it off camera because I'm a terrible sewer. I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna glue it to the, just the end here. So just a little bit over top, here's my glue look. <laughs> what a gooey mess. So uh, I guess I'm gonna put this piece in the front. Didn't even look to see which one I like better, but I do like this one. So I will use it. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of this glue here. Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. The uh, puppy's telling me she needs to go out. Okay, so just gonna let that sit for a second. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and glue it to this guy here. So I'm gonna do a little booklet. So depending on what you, you maybe you wanna sew some signatures in here, you can uh, make it as wide as you need to. I don't think I'm gonna need to sew anything else in here. I think I'm just gonna make it a little booklet and maybe put a pocket across here or something. So I'm going to just glue this edge down. I'm not gonna cover the whole back. Now, of course you could with the fabric. But I'm just gonna throw in a little wee bit of glue here and just keep a tiny, tiny gap between the two. Because again, I'm not sewing anything else in here. There we go, let's hold that down for a second. Make sure there's no glue that they stick together. Because that's something I do all the time. So push that down. Just kind of rub off any extra glue. There we go. They're straight. Straight enough. Okay, so I'm going to cut the extra off here. Again, I'm not concerned if it's straight. Kind of like it rough edges the whole bit. I'm gonna sew that down as well. And then of course you can decorate the back. Cut this one. Okay. So when I sew through here, that's gonna come through here and I'm okay with that. So that's something you wanna pay attention to when you are um, building these things and you do want to use sewing. So I'm just gonna run this through the machine really quick. Okay, so I've sewn it together. I just ran a stitch down here and a zigzag stitch here. To cover this, I think I'm just going to use um, a strip of this. I'm gonna leave the sewing exposed and then maybe some journaling space here, some sketching space. Um, it's nice to reintroduce these elements throughout your journals too. So when you start creating uh, a journal, you reuse the same materials throughout it. Not on every single page necessarily, but um, you know, a couple of pages in, I might add these bright red coupon stickers or um, the fabric or this color paper over and over again. So again, it makes it all cohesive. So there we go. And I'm gonna ink this side of the paper. A little bit more ink on here, I think that shows. A little ink on this side. And we've made this cute little booklet out of our thrift finds. And I think it's so much fun. There's so much layers and interest to it. There's just enough um, interest with the reds, the blacks, and the neutrals. There's lots of texture going on by using the fonts in, in our different mediums, different fabrics that have different writing, different font in this. These have different fonts, the numbers, just so much fun. I love it. And of course, the, the pièce de résistance, the sketching. Just love using up little sketches and just making them pop. So I hope that gives you some inspiration to hit your local thrift shop and to be inspired by things that are just kind of kicking around um, that maybe you wouldn't have thought of using. You know, maybe coupons, red admit one coupons aren't something you would think to invest in. Uh, probably paid maybe, what, $1.50 for these, that whole bag of fabric plus this. Oh, we never used the, the blue thing. I forgot about these. Um, we, uh, we got a lot of different stuff for like $6. It's great. Maybe $7 because I bought the book too. I forgot about these. Maybe we want to add something like this in. An afterthought. Let's do it. So just so much stuff. Oh my gosh, this glue is a mess. And, you know, keeping it out of landfill. Hopefully you buy it in a thrifty shop that recycles money back into the community. 
you know, so the money they make goes into, you know, helping people with their homes or um, uh, with families or somebody who had a fire in their home or something, you know, just a nice added little bonus when you're thrifting, thinking, hey, I'm getting a great deal, plus I'm helping someone. Fabulous. Fabulous. So I'm just going to add this because I forgot to include this and I really like these papers. They're definitely old because there's no stick left to them. So a food storage label dates. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. There we go. Included those. And I've got this little piece left. Let's uh, find somewhere to put it. Also, this little piece of fabric you could throw in there too. So, unfortunately, you're going to have more scraps. <laughs> but it's just another excuse to get busy doing this, playing with papers. So we don't mind scraps. Put that one there. So I hope that gave you some inspiration. I hope uh, uh, that you um, let me know in the comments below uh, what you use and what you thrift or if you thrift at all, or maybe you're going to start. Let me know. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.